Hisense says their new TV models are brighter and more vibrant than ever. So we're gonna check it out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here, out here with this TV that just got delivered. This is Hisense's. This is their newest model. This is the Quantum Dot ULED 4K TV, 65 inch. So this guy is pretty big, kind of like these pythons. And I thought we would check it out and see if the picture quality is noticeably better than last year's. Let's get her unboxed. All right, got the TV in here. I don't know that I would call this a life hack, but my hack to make setting these things up getting the legs specifically, which were in the box here, so we get two of them, on is to leave the protective wrapping, the little foam here on, and then laying it down flat on a table like this with the edge hanging off. So now I can get to the bottom here where you install the legs. And so I can get the legs on, screw them in, and then lift the whole thing up. I will say this thing is pretty heavy. Probably the biggest issue of moving it is that it's kind of awkward. 65 inches is pretty big. So for a single person to carry this. You really got to get your arms around it, kind of that big bear hug on it, but it's not too heavy to carry, at least not for me, but you know, like I said, I don't know how big these pythons are, but they're probably 40 inches in circumference, but not everyone can count on that. So I would definitely have two people if you are just moving this uh, into your home and you want to make sure that it doesn't get broke. So I'm going to go ahead and get the legs on here. And I will say what you need to look for are the two legs that are on the top styrofoam. So you you have these and you can see two screws will hold those in but then in the bottom of the box is usually this little bag here with the remote the power cable and then the screws right there to put those legs on so make sure you get all that before you start throwing away the box all right let's get these legs on get the tv up check it out and of course power tool makes everything a little easier here make sure you don't have it on the high torque setting you don't want to strip anything all right on to the next one all right, so I've got the TV set up here, this big black monolith, 65 inches of goodness. And a couple things that I want to point out here and show you is kind of the physical features of it. So I'm just going to go up here to the corner. It might be a little hard to see here, but this is my finger. And you can see how small the frame is around the TV. That is very, very small. I know the picture won't go right to the edge, but in terms of maximizing the visual real estate of a TV, High sense is second to none, which is pretty awesome. The other thing I want to point out here on these legs is that they are straight front and back. Sometimes legs are kicked out a little bit. So if you have a TV stand that is a little narrower, these are going to be the most efficient way to set up your TV. So I like that they are front and back like that. And on the back here, we have these little sleeves so that you can run any cords that you might have down the back of the leg here and just hide those. So I like that because it is on both of those. So power cables, any of that stuff, you will be able to hide a little bit better. I will say, is we look at the TV here, it's kind of about an inch and a half thick at the top. And then if you go down here, we have this lower hump. You can see that it's maybe oh, about halfway down. It's kind of starts maybe 55% of the way up here and then it's down here. And then it is another inch and a half maybe, right? So maybe three inches thick in total. You can see some venting right here. You can also see the visa mounts, you know, the screw holes that would be used to mount this guy. So the mount would be here on the bottom. Now, in terms of, hardware and ports I want to show you that on this side the right side of the TV we have the power plug right there so power cable go on that side and then all your inputs are basically over here and what you might be able to see if I turn it like this for you you can see that we have serial port and service port we have that coax for antennas we have eARC which is really nice and HDMI 1 2 and 3 so you get that and then we have AV in and a headset jack, which I actually use for my sound bars. It's just kind of the easiest way, in my opinion, to do that. A reset button, and then two USB ports. So you can, you know, plug in a USB drive that has content on it, music, movies, those types of things. But I also love having the second one there because sometimes you plug in, say, a Fire Stick or a Chromecast Stick or Apple TV Stick, if they ever make one, into the HDMI port and it needs power. And so you get it off of the USB ports and so it's really great to have those USB ports there so that you can plug it in as opposed to running another cable to a charging block to your power strip, all right? And then right next to it, we have an HDMI 4. So another one right here. 
4K optical port right there, LAN right there so that you can connect it directly to your internet, which is really, really nice. And it just has a nice look about it. It's minimalist. It's kind of what you expect, all right? The other thing from a hardware standpoint that I want to show you is this remote. And what I love about this remote is that they have finally used multiple colors on the remote itself. I hate remotes that are all black. Not like the New Zealand rugby team. This remote has white control surfaces on here, which is actually really nice to be able to just see where things are, see what they are, the home button, navigation right there. I love the fact that the controls are also printed in white. I have some remotes where the labels are actually in black on there too. Even these shortcut buttons are in white. So it's just really nice to look down at this and see where you need to press at a glance, as opposed to kind of a monochromatic black remote. So it's a small detail, but I love it, and I wish every TV company would embrace that, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power this guy up, this Hisense TV here, and set it up, and then I will give you my thoughts about the quality of this latest generation of TV. All right. I have been playing around with this Hisense TV here, and I have three things that I want to bring up here. Three important things that have kind of blown my mind, and I am going to do them in ascending order and show you what I really love about this in the order of how much they blew my mind. So the first thing I want to show you here is just the picture. Now, you might be saying, Pete, you get a TV and the picture is the thing that least impresses you? Well. It massively impresses me, but it's maybe the one thing that I kind of expected. And that's because this is a Hisense. This is our newest line, the ULED, which is basically like Samsung's QLED. So color, brightness, all of them nits that you wanted. You know, the deep blacks. This is actually just a picture app here. And this doesn't really have the deep blacks in it. I might be able to advance this. But the resolution is just incredible. I mean, it is shocking how good this is. You get up on this thing and it looks like printed paper to me. Obviously, as I mentioned here, the bezels are super, super thin. You can see how big my finger is to the bezel. So you have very little bezel. But just in terms of how beautiful this is. I mean, if you're watching 4K video on here, it is gonna look awesome. I just wanted to show you some of these photos here because they look incredible. And this would actually be a wonderful TV to use as artwork almost, right? So in here, we get a little bit more of those blacks. You can see how black that looks, but man, ooh, I'm getting cold just looking at this picture. So the resolution is amazing. The picture quality is amazing. The colors are amazing. I kind of expected that with this newest technology. I mean, just these really small, super bright, super accurate pixels. So I would say that this is a TV that is not going to leave you wanting in any way on the picture. That is pretty incredible. And so if we go to some video so I can show you that, I think you'll be equally as impressed. So, I mean, even look at this photo here. How sick is that? I mean, that just looks amazing. I love it. All right, on to the video. All right, pulled up one of my videos on YouTube here, and I just want to show you what this looks like because I shoot these in pretty high resolution. But here is motion on this video here, and what you might be able to see is you can see the tiny imperfections, those little dents on the metal on the club itself, on the TV. I mean, heck, you might be able to get my fingerprints there and get into a biometric safe if I ever had one because I don't have anything that is valuable to me, but look at the resolution there. I mean, I am getting way in on that, and do you feel like you are starting to see pixels kind of like we did in the old days on 420p televisions? I mean, it's almost too good. I am not pretty enough to be on TV with resolution this good. So the picture here is amazing. It's not just the resolution, but it is the crazy amount of detail and accurate color representation. Now, let's get on to the second thing that blows my mind and I was really impressed with. I'm going to unmute this. And what is probably going to be hard here is recording on my cell phone and getting accurate representations of the audio. But the audio here is great. And it works. I mean, I've used this in Super, super clear. And so what I want to do here is cue up Lee Greenwood, God bless the USA here. Again, probably not the best way to show you what the audio is like, but. Tomorrow all the things were gone. I worked for all my life. And I had to start again. 
just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars to be living here today where the But what I want to tell you here is that the audio on this television is better than any of the built-in audio I've had on any other television. I would say that most of us are probably expecting a pretty mediocre audio experience from television because they make them to be thin and have good pictures and they don't really put in good speakers. And that's because most of us are connecting it to speakers or a sound bar or something like that, a home theater system, whatever it might be. And so it's kind of more of just like a checklist item to throw in some speakers in case you need them. Now, I will say that these speakers speakers don't blow me away in terms of speakers, but they do blow me away in terms of how good they are for just standard built-in TV speakers. They sound great. There are a variety of different audio options. I actually have it set here on music, which I just tend, for my ears, like the most. It just kind of has like a rich tone. It's not super loud. It's not super trebly. It doesn't obviously pound a bass or anything, but I think overall it just seems really good. Even when I was watching videos or movies, or interviews. I mean, I think to me, it was my favorite setting. The standard setting is also very good and it has a lot of volume. It is kind of punchy. It produces a lot of troubles. Everything is very clear. It's almost like the sound is surrounding you, but this is just a little bit more warm and rich. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so I think you get the idea here. Again, it's gonna be a little hard to explain that or let you experience it here on video, but the sound is really good. In fact, on this TV, I was just assuming that I'm going to add a sound bar, but I can tell you right now that I am not going to do that. So I actually have a really interesting idea. So stay tuned in another video where I show you what I do with this TV, but I think the way it stands out of the box here, audio and video quality, that I am not gonna to have to do anything with it. I'm actually really excited about about that because like I said I haven't gotten good audio out of a TV probably ever until this one so if you are looking for a TV that is just going to go on your wall sit on your dresser maybe you don't have a lot of space or a lot of other tech to plug into it and you're looking for a good overall package obviously amazing picture quality but a decent audio experience I think that this one is for you now that is number two let me talk about number three and the thing that blows me away with this. This is a Google operating system television and I'm going to use the remote, which I said I have loved here, this home button. And I'm gonna go back to home on this, right? All right, so we are back to the home here. And before I get into my third thing, I wanna zoom in on something and show you. So if we go down here where the infrared sensor is and all of that, we have a little panel down here where you can obviously turn it on. There are some LEDs right here, but what's right here is the most important part. As you might be able to see, there is a little tiny switch down there. And if you push it to that side, it says off. And if you push it to this side, there's a little microphone icon. And that is very important because this TV has a microphone built into it so that you can use it just like you would a, a Google device, like a Google Home smart device. It works just like that, but obviously it's integrated in the TV. So I can control everything on this TV without this remote, which is amazing and I love, and I have been using this all the time, and it even works with the TV off. So let me show you. Hey Google, what's the weather in Chicago? Currently in Chicago, it's 84 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 84 and a low of 69. Hey Google, find Peter Von Panda on YouTube. How about that? It's pretty easy to find your favorite YouTube channel. Hey Google, find Top Gun.
And look at this. We have Top Gun clips. We have both movies available for rent. What I love about this is that a lot of TVs have voice control on the remote. But what you have to do is you have to find that voice control button, that microphone button, press it, speak into the remote. It transmits it to the TV and finds it. This, I do not need at all. In fact, what I can do here is just put that down. Hey, Google, turn off TV. And what I love about this is, let's say you're in the mood for TV. I don't have the remote in front of me. Hey, Google, turn on TV. Got it. Turning the living room TV on. Oh, yeah. This is the way to go. It's like having a butler. Hey, Google, go home. Oh, there's Jerry Maguire. I like that movie. Hey, Google, play Jerry Maguire. And now, honestly, what about the volume control? Hey Google, play Jerry Maguire clips on YouTube. Here's on YouTube. Hey Google, play. You okay? Hey Google, volume down. What's up? And as you can see, move the volume down there. It's pretty awesome. What? He's firing Jerry? Hey Google, pause. So what I love about this is the voice control of the TV. Hey, Google, play music. All right, music on YouTube. Here you go. Oh, it's the lollipop song. So you can just be entertained with just about anything. And like I said, it's just like speaking it into an Echo Dot or the Apple HomePod or anything like that. Hey Google, volume down. Look at that, moving the volume down. All right, so that's what I love about this TV. The picture quality is great. I think one, we probably expected that, but it doesn't surprise me to be surprised every year at just how good it's getting and how much better it is over the previous year, even when I thought the previous year's ones we're beautiful. So that's the number one. Two, again, this TV to me has adequate sound quality where I don't need to get another sound bar for that. I think that's actually a big cost savings. And again, depending on your installation, that could really make it a lot easier for you. But three, the voice control here. Hey Google, volume up. So I just love that because that is pretty amazing. So between the picture quality, the audio quality, and the voice control, it is really amazing. Hey Google, go home. It just makes it so much easier, especially if you're having a party, you want to quick throw out a command. Man, how nice would that be? And even... Like I said, you're falling asleep, getting a little tired. The room is dark. You don't want to stumble for the remote. You can just say, hey, Google, turn TV off. Sure, turning the living room TV off. Thank you. Man, it is like having a little friend controlling your TV. So if you want the latest in picture technology, this Hisense ULED is amazing. Great audio quality and the convenience of controlling things with the power of your voice then I think you're gonna love this TV. And it's a smoking great deal. At 65 inches, you would think a TV with all of this would be pretty pricey, but this TV is under, I think, 580 bucks. So less than $10 an inch, and it just blows my mind. In fact, I'm not sure that I would get a TV with a different operating system because I have found all of these features super amazing. Yeah, honestly, now I'm kind of torn because I have some TVs with inferior operating systems. But if you want to pick this one up, I will definitely put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.